Hey, right now we have another Russian Imperial Stout. This one uh, coming to us from Jacob Leinenkugel Brewing Company, which is out of a town called Chippewa Falls in uh, Wisconsin. Uh, Jacob Leinenkugel Brewing Company, actually owned by Miller, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, bought out uh, in 1988. Originally founded by Jacob Leinenkugel in 1867, along with a guy named John Miller, no relation to uh, Miller Brewing Company, which now owns the Jacob Leinenkugel uh, Brewing Company, which kind of a strange coincidence, but no, um, no uh, affiliation whatsoever that original John Miller had. John Miller sold uh, his share of uh, the brewing company to uh, Jacob Leinenkugel, I believe, in 1883, so it just became... Jacobs uh, himself, and then passed down generation to generation. They are now a fifth generation family brewery, um, even though they're owned by a big uh, time uh, company. This is their Russian Imperial Stout. It's aged about a year, 2011 uh, version. Comes in at 9.5% uh, alcohol by volume. We've done a few of these Russian Imperial Stouts before. Um, just basically talks about its five generations on the uh, label here, and a very kind of nondescript uh, label, as you can see. That's the normal Leinenkugel's logo. Um, it's kind of a regional uh, subsidiary of Miller. Uh, we'll see how long, uh, hopefully it'll, with the tradition of the brewery being so many years, hopefully they'll uh, hold on to it. Usually known for their pale uh, lager, I believe. Um, we're not doing that today. We're doing Big Eddie Russian Imperial Stout. I thought we were going to be reviewing a Russian Imperial Stout basically from Miller Brewing Company. <laughs> we'll pour this into a uh, pint glass, uh, which is fair game, and we see that jet black pour that we usually get out of Russian Imperial Stouts. Uh, very uh, motor oilish, uh, if you will, which pretty much par for the course. That's what we come to expect from... Uh, R-I-S's, as they say. Um, and we see that light kind of caramel-colored uh, head on uh, the uh, Line and Kugel's Big Eddie Russian Imperial Stout. A very dark uh, black. I'm not really seeing too many notes of uh, any other color. Can't see through it at all. So uh, this is your kind of classic look of a Russian Imperial Stout. I'll turn Kermit over so you can kind of get the uh, full uh, Russian Imperial Stout kind of look. Um, almost a bit carbonated like soda. Okay. And let's get the aroma now of Big Eddie Russian Imperial Stout from Jacob Leinenkugel Brewing Company. Kind of a light note of uh, chocolatey uh, kind of uh, smell to it. It's a very chewy kind of uh, malty um, chocolate, basically a kind of normal um, Russian Imperial Stout, toffee tones, maybe a little coffee. Uh, in there as well, so nothing too surprising by the uh, smell of uh, the Big Eddie. Let's see if the taste kind of uh, says the same thing too. Hmm. I'm getting a more smoky hickory almost uh, kind of tone to this uh, beer. Not really getting the uh, Big time malt or chocolate kind of notes. This one kind of goes down a little more like a stout to me, uh, rather than a Russian Imperial stout, like a like an American stout. Um, getting a burnt, a very burnt chocolatey kind of taste to this uh, to this uh, stout. Dark, almost charred kind of tones to this. It's. Uh, it's a little, uh, a little bitter on the taste. It's a little, um, it's just very smoky. Just something very smoky about this beer. Not quite as much as a Rausch beer would be, but uh, there is a, a just a kind of earthy kind of uh, taste to this that I haven't really tasted out of most uh, Russian Imperial Stouts. Um, that said, it's a very downable beer, very drinkable Russian Imperial Stout. Not nearly uh, anywhere near, I think, uh, the best in category for me. Uh, aged about a year, so maybe that kind of adds to the uh, smoky hickoriness uh, of this uh, particular Russian Imperial Stout. Not bad by any sense of the word, but I probably wouldn't buy it again. Uh, I'm going to give uh, Jacob Leinenkugel uh, the Big Eddie Russian Imperial Stout. I'll give this one a 7 out of 10.